Hi guys, Sash here. Just give you guys a couple seconds. Get on. Uh, today's topic, we're gonna talk about should you get pre-approved for a home? Why should you get pre-approved for a home, right? So give me, give us a couple of seconds. We should put like some hold elevator music or something on here. Um, let you guys see the notifications. We're going live and then we're gonna jump right into it. Okay, just taking, let's finish up my notes here. Okay. Um, all right, so a couple of things. Why get pre-approved? Um, well, because some of it is kind of obvious. What happens is, is we all get excited about wanting to see a homes. I get it. Home comes on the market and you know, you say, hey, I could afford 300,000. Not a big deal, right? Uh, what happens is we get into you know a situation where you didn't really realize what the moving parts were, and all of a sudden the lender comes back to you and says, "Hey, you're only approved for two hundred fifty thousand." Now it doesn't mean you. It doesn't mean you know you have to spend two hundred fifty thousand. But what it means is really you're setting the right expectation of. If I have this pre-approval and I know all the moving parts, such as uh, interest connected to this interest rates, which have gone down, I think again, um, what are the taxes on the home? You have a better expectation of what all the moving parts are. What's also nice about this is, you know, we have sometimes people ask us, hey, I'm not necessarily ready to buy a home today, but I want to start looking and I get it, you know, that you get excited. What's good about that is, you know, if you do get pre-approved today, um, they're good for about 90 days. So even if you don't buy something right now or you want to wait a couple of weeks, you have a pre-approval that's good for 90 days. But more importantly, if you have a pre-approval and let's say you did get approved for 300,000, it does not mean you have to spend 300,000. It just means based on the information you provided, um, this is what you would qualify for. And now there is a difference between a pre-qualification and a pre-approval. Uh, why we recommend a pre-approval is it puts you in the best case scenario um, to actually make sure the loan goes through because you know things that uh, things as you get under contract with the home start to cost money inspection um, maybe you're ordering appraisal and if you just have a pre-qualification and you didn't submit the documents already um, such as your taxes, your pay stubs, and, and the moving parts like that, that might put you in, in a little bit of a situation where now you're scrambling you know, to meet, make sure you're meeting contract guidelines. Uh, another thing pre-approval is really important is right now, um, you know, I like to use a reference of like 225 to about 300, 250 to 300. It is a crazy, it is a crazy busy price point. Um, example, in, in Crown Point, there's not a lot of inventory in that price range, right? And the inventory that we do have in that price range, they tend to go pretty quick. It's a pretty competitive market. If you wanted to, if you, excuse me, if you wanted to write an offer, any good listing agent's gonna say, okay, I need to see a pre-approval. I need to make sure before I, you know, I get information back from you know, my sellers, they're gonna say, my sellers are gonna wanna see a pre-approval, right? So it puts you in a competitive situation where you're not scrambling last minute to get your docs, get pre-approved. And honestly, you're talking 10, 15 minutes. Now you can go get approved a number of different ways, but any good agent will tell you, hey, here's three lenders I'm using. Feel free to call all three. They're all gonna be extremely competitive. You might just mesh well with one over the other. Um, and usually we like to refer local lenders because people like that flexibility of having a human touch interaction, feels more real, tangible, you know? Um, so any good, you know, any good agent is going to recommend that to you. Next time you go shopping for some homes, um, you know, your agent should do you a favor and say, hey, do you have a pre-approval? So if you're in a situation where your dream home does pop up, you're not left scrambling, you're not left in a situation like, okay, I need to get all these moving docs. Usually, usually it's scenarios like that where I've come about where people tend to feel stressed or pressured, right? Because they feel like everything's happening a little too fast. And this is a big deal. You're buying 
again, we're just using an example of two fifty to three hundred thousand. It's a lot of money, right? Um, if you have any questions on what the moving parts on that, I'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you, put you in touch with the lender. Um, you know, just, just something to keep in mind. Again, if you're not quite ready right now, it's good for 90 days. Some things that I also recommend is, you know, sometimes you might have to line up a couple of ducks that you didn't realize, you know, were a hindrance, right? So if you get this pre-approval now and let's say something popped up that you completely forgot you weren't aware of, it gives you that flexibility and time to make sure you take care of that ahead of time. Um, you know, some of those things might be, if you need to tidy up some items if you're a small business owner or if you had a couple expenses or on your file that you weren't you know you weren't aware how high they were or whatever the case may be or sometimes you even you have information that just you know went to maybe collection on accident and it was wrong and now you have to get that off your record so get that done ahead of time get yourself that pre-approval then you confidently know okay based on what we think the rate is right now, what the taxes are on this particular home, we have a pretty good idea of what your payment is gonna be every single month. So you can make a confident decision. Is this something I wanna be in? Is this my, you know, just because you can afford it doesn't mean you should spend it. So you can also get that takeaway of, am I comfortable in this in this bracket? Am I comfortable in this price range, the monthly payments, all the moving parts, right? And a good lender is also gonna tell you like, okay, here's the differences between you know, 3%, 3.5%, 5%, or 20%. You're going to have a bunch of options so you can best take away what's in your best case scenario. So uh, I hope that was some um, enlightening information. If I could help with anything else at all, uh, please don't feel, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, love to love to be your guy. I'd love to have the opportunity to work with you. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Talk to you soon.